So this is part two of my video. This is going to be like what I went through um, being here at home, like how I'm feeling. When I came home Tuesday, I wasn't feeling good. I mean, normally the day you come home from the hospital, you just, you don't feel good. Like, I think that's pretty, you know, normal. Um, so the rest of Tuesday and Wednesday, um, I just relaxed. Um, I ate when I could, I drank lots of water, and just tried to gain some of my strength back, I guess, I don't know. One thing I noticed, though, is that my stomach, like my abdominal area, is really like, it's still very tender. I guess my abdominal muscles are weak. Because uh, when I stand up, it feels like I have weights hanging from my abdomen and it hurts. You know, I can get around very, very slowly. But I cannot be on my feet for too long. Um, I have to be able to sit down somewhere. So on Thursday, uh, we decided to go to Walmart. And I thought that they were going to have, like, motorized carts, you know. And they didn't. So, um, we kind of went hunting a little bit, and Carlos found this shopping cart. And uh, I've never seen anything like it. It's called Caroline's Cart. It's a special needs shopping cart. And it has, it, it looks like a regular shopping cart, except the only difference is the foldy part where you put the baby, they took that out and put an adult-sized seat in there with them. Um, What's it called? The seatbelt. And so I had to ride in that the whole time, which was weird for me because I've never seen anything like it. And sometimes people kind of looked at me weird, like, what is this girl doing in this cart? She looks like a big baby. So I was like, I would rather look like a big baby in a cart than be in pain the whole time. You know what I mean? So we got home on Thursday, um, and most of my time here has just been trying to stay off my feet. I don't know if I should be walking around to strengthen my stomach. I don't know if I should be resting. I don't know, because I'm supposed to hear from GI and hepatology. I haven't heard from them yet, so I'm not sure. And my discharge paperwork didn't say what I should be doing either. So... Um, you know, at this point, like I said, Saturday, uh, I felt hungry this morning. So I was able to eat. Before I went to the hospital, you know, I could only eat a few bites and it would make me bloated or it made me sick or whatever. But this time we went, we actually went to a Mexican place and got some tamales. And the tamales are not very big. They're like this big, chicken tamales. Mm -hmm. I was actually able to finish a whole tamale. I didn't get sick and I didn't. Um, get bloated and I was happy that's telling me that my body is starting to recuperate and heal at least my digestive system um, and there was one other thing oh how I was my dehydrate or my hydration is much better um, I don't wake up super dehydrated anymore. You know, I'm doing my breathing treatments slowly, but surely I'm getting better. It's just my abdomen. It keeps me from walking or standing for too long. And, you know, it makes me think like this past week has been just a plethora of issues. I was in the hospital. We've been having some horrible financial problems. And, you know, it's just when it rains, it pours. And it's pouring right now. If it's not one thing, it's another thing. And the thing that makes me feel bad is I'm just sitting here. I don't want to just sit here. I want to help. I want to do something. And that's why I'm so focused on getting my equipment. Because I want to help. I want to do something. You know, I want to help. I want to help the family financially. Before, up until I met my husband, I was a single mom. I worked 
all the time. And I like working. I enjoy it. I don't like sitting here doing nothing. I like to work. You know, like I have these puzzle books. Word puzzle books that have, you've seen these with all these puzzles. I did them in the hospital. I do them here at home because I need to keep my mind occupied. And TV doesn't occupy my mind. I like working. And I'm so excited about getting my equipment and working. Like, I'm dedicated. I'm motivated. You know, that's why I created the GoFundMe. Normally, I wouldn't because I'd be like, I, I can work for what I need. Right now, I can't work outside the house. It's impossible. It's not possible. Um, so I have to work from inside the house. And being a stenographer is the most lucrative way I can think of to make money to support my family. Um, so again, that's why I created the GoFundMe. I just need a little leg up. I just need a little boost, you know? Just like, here you go, here's a little boost. Now go, you know? And whether it's donations, whether it's a loan, I don't care. Like, you know, I had a couple of people ask me, well, what if someone loaned you the money? I'm like, well, what, what about it? How soon could you pay it back? I'm like, well, there's two ways, either stimulus or earnings, whichever comes first. You know, whichever comes first, that's the way it's going to, and is it going to take a year? <laughs> no, it won't even take six months to pay it back. I could pay it back in a few months with earnings. So, um, you know, I'm just at this point, I, I'm willing to do what I need to do. So, um, so far health wise, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm still a little dehydrated. I'm still drinking water like it's going out of style, but I feel better. I'm starting to feel better. You know, I still can't walk. My mobility is still bad. But I'm starting to feel better. I'm getting there. You know, um, the property manager here has been so, so, so understanding of our situation. I mean, right now, with me being in the hospital and our financial situation, it's like, we could be back in a motel or in a homeless shelter, and we're not. We're in this beautiful apartment, you know, with these amazing, with this amazing property manager, and, you know, we're blessed in that sense. We're blessed to have a, to still have a roof over our head, a bed to sleep in, and food. Um, so, you know, could things be better? Absolutely, 100%. Do we want things to be better? Absolutely, 100%. But we have to be grateful and blessed for what we have now, because it could always be worse. Someone out there has it worse than we do. You know, we could be in a worse position than we are now, but we're not. We're in a great position, so to speak. You know, so just be grateful for what you have and be happy for what you have because it could always be worse. Someone always could have it worse. You know, is are things going to get better for us? Absolutely. It's, it, it, it might take some time, but yeah. So, so that's it. That's what I've been through the last weekish. No, week. It's been a week. Um, my next video is going to be when I have another, I don't know. I haven't heard from GI. I haven't heard from hepatology. I don't know what's going to happen. But if there's any kind of update to what's going on, I will let you guys know. And um, I will post another video 
when that happens. So have a great weekend and have a great week. And remember to always be grateful and feel blessed for what you have. See you in the next video.